Uh, my rape storyline happened back in 98, and that was, I had only been on the show for less than a year, and, and that was a pretty heavy duty storyline um, that I was given. Uh, it was, it kind of defined my character. It gave Elizabeth a lot of different um, layers and emotions that she wasn't brought to the show with. My character is like a Jason Bourne type of character, uh, an um, ex-Marine uh, who does suffer from PTSD. And so it was really interesting uh, when I was looking it up, and um, it's such a tragedy to have to deal with. You know, you go and you serve your country and you do it with wholeheartedly, and then you come back with something you didn't ask for. We have the opportunity to to educate as well as entertain, and that was one of the reasons that breast cancer storyline came up. And we wanted to do it as honestly and truthfully as it could possibly be. It was to the credit of the writers that, that the angle, of the husband's angle, was incorporated, which I think was um, really important. I know I got many letters from men saying, thank you, now I have a better insight as to what my wife was going through or is going through. Stone dying, I'll never forget. Reading an article where a father was coming home and he saw his daughter crying, and I always get emotional, why do I do that? Because Kimberly and uh, Michael Sutton, Kimberly McCullough and Michael Sutton were so incredible in the storyline. Father came home, saw his daughter crying on the front steps and said, you know, what's wrong? She said, Stone died today. And he thought it was one of you know her friends and it was Stone from the show. and. It was just so powerful and that's how it touched people's lives back then.